The surface of the human body contains millions of nerve endings that send touch-related sensory information to the brain. But in some cases, those sensations don't even need to be generated by nerve endings. Ever heard of sympathy pain? The most well-known type of sympathy pain is called Couvad syndrome. It's when a pregnant woman's husband goes through labor pains. Husbands can actually sympathize with their pregnant wives so much that they experience the same problems, such as weight gain, insomnia, nausea, mood swings, etc. Sympathy pain is also known as synesthetic pain. It's pain sparked by seeing someone else get hurt. Amputees can actually be more susceptible to it because experiencing trauma can make the brain more sensitive to other people's pain. Amputees can also feel pain in the limb that is no longer there. That is known as phantom pain. But perhaps the most surprising way that the brain and pain interact can be demonstrated by the nocebo effect. Have you ever heard of the placebo effect? It's like when a fake pain pill actually cures a person's pain because they have a positive expectation it will work. 